tricking me into trying whatever okay. this thing is. So We are Tiny Travel 2, four adults and two children who travel the world hoping to inspire people to live out their dreams. 2020 had different plans for us and had us coming back home to Australia. Now back in Australia, we thought what better time than now to show you one of our favourite places. So buckle in while we show you what we think is the best parts of Malaysia. Seeing this beautiful staircase in so many different photos, we decided we had to see Batu Caves for ourselves. It's a nice place just to stop on every flight and look around anyway, because the colors are beautiful. I said that it reminds me of like a, a Disney movie. There's so many colours, a bit like Aladdin, I guess. Kids are powering ahead though, so that's, that's good. No complaining on their behalf. I made it to the top! I just did all 272 stairs. I nailed it! When you get to the top, you're not only rewarded with this spectacular view, but there are several temples that you can explore while you're there. And if you're lucky like we were, you'll be rewarded with a local treat. We are just walking back for the other temple and then this lady walked past with a bucket full of this little cake. Not really sure what it is. Amy thinks there's some peas in there, but I don't think that is peas. But um, I'm gonna try. I don't know what it is, I not, think it's yeah. like rice. I, I think it's rice and it's got really a lot of sugar in it. Really sweet, very sweet. Is it good? Like, would you buy it? Mm, maybe no. not, I don't think so. But <laughs> I would happily eat a whole thing. That's, yeah, that's what it is. Like, I'm not sure what's in there. If anyone knows what it is... Let us know, please. We would like to know what this thing is. Petronas Towers is something that is definitely worth the trip. Although they are just as spectacular during the day, it is worth coming at night so you can experience the light display on the water. It also gives you a great opportunity to have that dance. Penang Street Art is something that you could spend a whole day exploring. Even though you can easily rent a bike or take a tuk-tuk, we decided to walk so we could take in the whole experience. The girls loved walking around the city and interacting with all of the street art. 
but I must say they were very exhausted by the end of the day. the Jalan Alor Street Market, which is open from 6pm and currently I think it's 6.05 and the place is absolutely packed and it closes at 2am so it's open for all of you late night party animals. We are a family that loves visiting markets but this is definitely one of our best from our travels. You can either stick to the usual suspects or try something a little different. Just stop for some juice. We've got pineapple juice, that's a positive. Amy's going to like that. And this one is Air Mata Kaching. So I had a little look into it. There's a few ingredients in there I'm not 100% familiar with, but it has a very interesting colour. And apparently CNN rates it as the most sixth, sorry, the sixth most delicious drink. So let's see how it goes. Eh? I'm going to say CNN's broken. <laughs> it's not terrible, but honestly, anywhere in the top 10, I'd be really doubtful. So Robbo's uh, a bit of a like, she, her poker face sucks, right? Yeah, they've obviously already had some of this. She would have only <laughs> found out when she was editing. <laughs> They're tricking me. Okay. So right now she's not sure if we're tricking her because it's amazing or because it's not quite sixth on the list of great drinks according to CNN, right? Okay. Either way, we want your reaction. So let's give it a go. I'm really scared though. It tastes like molasses. <laughs> Doesn't it? Mine's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, well, that's mine. <laughs> Nasi Kandar is something we heard a lot about before visiting Penang and even though you can find this in most cities in Malaysia, Penang is where it all started. Serving some of the best curries and don't forget to try those rotis. Most places are open 24 hours a day, so you will always be able to get a feed. But for the best feed, turn up for breakfast. With the motto of Escape Theme Park being all adults should be kids for the day, we thought this was the best place for us.
Tá, já é We all loved Escape and it didn't take us long to decide to add this to our list. But that's it for our list for Malaysia. We absolutely loved our time and cannot wait to return. Thank you, Escape.